Hello. I decided to try it and do it inside because there's like a million mosquitoes outside and I really don't want to get eaten or bring any more into the house. <laughs> so anyway, um, hopefully you will be able to see me good enough here. Um, what I wanted to do yesterday and couldn't find what I was looking for was to research the history of marriage vows. And so I did a little bit of research. I've got my notes here. Um, they said the tradition goes back to prehistoric times when the commitment was not necessary, necessarily between two people, but between a person and an entire village. So the first wedding vows in history were most likely, um, it said, a symbolic representation of a newcomer's commitment to watch over and protect the tribe or group and vice versa. Uh, the beginning of the wedding vows can be traced back to the Middle Ages to the Book of Common Prayer, which was approved by Henry VIII. So the Church of England um, would offer the couples the choice of saying love and cherish um, or love, cherish, and worship and love, cherish, and obey. Um, and then people started creating their own vows at that point. Um, they said um, in theirs that, you know, Eve was created for Adam to complete his desire for companionship. And um, since then, people take parts of that into their ceremony for wedding vows. Uh, let's see what other part in here. Um, in the late medieval times, the wedding vows were exchanged at a church in order to make it known to the public that the wedding ceremony, um, so that it was public. I thought that was interesting because I didn't realize that they actually didn't do it inside the church. They did it in front of the church so that it was in clear view of everyone that was public. I found that interesting. So the reason that I decided to look this up is because uh, in class yesterday morning, we were studying the book of Ruth and um, we read the part that said, um, let's see, do not urge me to leave you or to turn from following you for wherever you go, I will go and wherever you live, I will live. Your people will be my people and your God will be my God. Where you die, I will die and there I will be buried. May the Lord punish me and ever so severely if anything but death separates you and me. And when I heard that, it just made me think. Um, I wondered if that's where the words that we say at a marriage vow, if that's where it came from, because it's kind of close. It's like, you know, I go where you go, um, you know, when you, what, I don't, it just really made me think about the marriage vows and wondered if that's kind of where some of the wording came from. And then it also occurred to me that that was some pretty serious commitment and how many people that are married actually take that same amount of commitment that Ruth did to her mother-in-law. I mean, a lot of people don't do that. And so that's just what made me start thinking about it, about the marriage vows and where they came from and their history. And uh, so that's where that came from. And I do have six tips on how to be a loyal friend. And if you would like those, shoot me a message and I will get back to you tomorrow. Bye.